So friends, we are in Palm Springs. Look at the mountains. It's one way you can tell. This is the cultural center that has just been built a few years ago. There was a hotel here that was a place that the Colonel would actually bring clients, get them in the sauna with it hot. He could stand the heat and he would get in there with it hot and actually start trying to make deals and wouldn't let them out until they made a deal. So a lot of times they would just pour on the heat and that's how they would end up making a deal. They would make a deal just to get out of the sauna and that happened literally right here. And it has to do with this new book that is coming out. Trey, tell us about the book. All right, so there's an, a new book coming out about Elvis and the Colonel. And it's by one of the Colonel's friends here in Palm Springs. Uh, actually a, a kid that the Colonel and his wife actually allowed come at, to live with him here in Palm Springs so the kid would go to school. Because he, he had stopped going to classes and school here. He kind of had a tough home life. They almost adopted him. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. And, and then and Greg grew up and uh, started doing work for the Colonel and got into the music uh, industry himself and was very successful. But Greg shares his story of Colonel Parker because he was in the car with Colonel, taking the Colonel from here to Los Angeles back and forth during Elvis's movie career and to shows and things like that. So I've read the book. It's out now as this, I'm sure as Billy releases this video, it came out on November the 28th. And, 2023. Uh, and anyway, so the book is a first-hand account from a guy that was actually with Colonel Parker. And he tells a story that no one's ever heard before. And I, I really believe it, it makes the Colonel more of a human being. Uh, it did to me and made me understand things that people always have questions about the Colonel and Elvis' relationship. There's a lot of in information that shows with proof as far as like numbers wise of money that was made and things like that. But this location is a big part of the story that is shared in it because he said that the Colonel loved this son. And he this would make deals at here. The spa hotel, and he would make deals. He would bring those guys and they would sit in a sauna and discuss business. And uh, Abe Lastfogel mm -hmm. from the, from, um, uh, William, uh, well, Mayor, William Morris William Morris agency Colonel made a deal with Abe about Elvis's movie career right here in the sun can't get better than that have you ever heard sadly of it's like gone that, you know? sadly it's gone but it was demolished in 2014 this book tells of the humanitarian the Colonel not this evil person that everybody's painting but how cool a person he was he was good to Greg as a kid, he took him in, him and his wife, mm -hmm. and helped Greg. Right, and it's really it's some great stories of, of Elvis in Pump Springs in this book. Uh, Billy and I are about to go and find one of those locations where Greg first met Elvis, <laughs> just by accident. And uh, Elvis had a pretty girl. Out. Anyway, but... Uh, the, it was a gr it's a great <laughs> book with a lot of stuff you have never heard of before. Stuff, but like I just said, it's going to make... Colonel more of a human to you and you're gonna you're gonna learn that the colonel was not just this this guy that was a mean guy you know that every fan to me wants to say but he was a man that actually had feelings like we all do and um, and help people and he helped this kid mm -hmm. and now and Greg made this book he wanted this book he wanted his story because he didn't like how they did Colonel in the Elvis movie mm -hmm. and he was like you know that's that was not right and I, I, I agree with him, you know. So what I what I say, guys, is order this book. I've read it. I read it in three days. I was fascinated. I learned a lot of history. Now we're here in Palm Springs covering some of the stories we learned. But what I was going to say is read this book with an open mind. Just, you know, if you hate the Colonel Parker, but you love Elvis and the story, read this book with an open mind so maybe you can put some things together that you have questions on. And you'll learn that the Colonel was actually a great man. Humanitarian, he was generous, loving, 
caring. Look, he cared you know, for we're Elvis. Human beings. You know, everybody makes mistakes, but I do believe the Colonel made a lot of great th deals for Elvis to get Elvis to where we're talking about him all these years later. Now, Elvis had talent and everything, of course, and the, uh, the charisma, but the he needed uh, somebody like Colonel Parker, and Colonel Parker only worked for Elvis. I mean, you can't, go if you're an actor or somebody, and you just have one man that's always, all day long, in this book, they said more than 12 hours a day. Colonel is doing things for Elvis. Constant. Constantly. And that's and why we're talking about him today. Right here, Billy. Yep. And this is just a really cool place. This is a cultural center. This is, I believe, part of an Indian reservation. And just a really, really beautiful place, as you can see, in Palm Springs. And they have a museum and a spa right here. Agua Caliente Cultural Center. Since the building is gone, I looked for old footage, and I found some. This is the entrance, and you can see that it was old school. This was filmed and put out about 12, 14 years ago, somewhere along in there. And I'm going to have different pieces of it. Nothing really concrete other than just a couple of excerpts from being inside of the sauna, which is going to look like rocks on the back. And it's a lady in the sauna, so it's probably not the one the colonel would have been in. It would have been on the lady's side. A lot of these places have a men's side and a lady's side. That's been my experience when I've gone to these. But it looked like a really cool place. Sadly, they tore it down, built the museum there, but they also put brand new pools, brand new spas there on that location where people can stay across the street and walk across. This place originally opened in 1960, so in 2010 had been open 50 years. The Colonel and Elvis would have been there in the early days, 60s and 70s. But that's what it looked like before it got torn down right here. This was built on top of actual real hot springs. That's why Palm Springs got the name Palm Springs. It had hot springs like Hot Spring, Arkansas. And I will show you shortly the original springs. It went through several different incarnations, if you will, over a period of time. From the first bathhouse right here, the second bathhouse, the third bathhouse, and then that hotel right there. This is where the colonel would make deals for Elvis inside the sauna in this building right here. That's her in the hot springs in the mineral water right there. And then this is her in the sauna. And they infuse things in the sauna. That's inside of the sauna. So can you imagine the colonel sitting in there with those rocks making deals for Elvis? It happened right there. And this is what the pools look like today. I'm going to just look over the fence right here. Check this out. Looks very inviting. Nice place. So a nice little tidbit, this lady was known as Kitty White. That was her performing name, and she performed at this hotel for 16 years. You know this lady if you know Elvis Music, one of very few people that did a duet with Elvis. She's the lady that did this. Check this out. Yep, that is Kitty White. Back then, she went by the name Kitty Bilbrew. Check this out right here. This is an album cover of her singing Crawfish. And notice her name is first. Elvis's name is second. And this is not released on RCA. This was released on another label, which is her record release. How many times have you seen Elvis's name second on anything? Yep, there you are. Jean Bilbrew, better known as Kitty White, performed at that hotel for 16 years. Old Studebaker pickup truck. The thing's beautiful. Studi, Becker. Look at that old car. T-Bird. That's the T-Bird that her daddy would take away after she was having fun, fun, fun. <laughs> At a car show and auction. A little cannabis for you there on the right. So hey, there's a tree there. Yeah, let's just build around it. Palm tree. So we're in Palmy Springies, and I want you to look right here. Oh, it's Marilyn. Hey, Marilyn. Elvis on the side of the car. Side of Acme House. This says traffic arenas district, and then that says traffic calming area, and then there's humps down there that look like UFOs. 
I don't know what traffic calming area means other than they have speed bumps. Why don't they just say speed bumps? But they think traffic calming sounds better. Is that what it is? Why would be my question. So we're in Palm Springs. You can see the mountains right there. Whenever Elvis would shoot a TV in Palm Springs, they would buy the new TV from right here. It's Daddy's Barbershop now. They have one in San Francisco and they have one in Palm Springs. But they would buy TVs from right here. He would send one of the boys to pick one up right there. Yep, 192 Indian Canyon Drive at the corner of Arenas Road in Indian Canyon. This is Hallmark TV, and this is the only guy in town that would open in the middle of the night and bring him a TV or let him have a TV. That's why he bought from here. So sadly, Ken Parker passed away, and that is the reason that it is permanently closed. I'm going to read a little bit from his obituary. It says that he opened that store in 1960, and it was open until 2010 when he retired. It was one of the oldest businesses in Palm Springs in the Coachella Valley, and he had many notable customers, including Elvis, Bob Hope, Frank Sinatra, Kirk Douglas, and thousands of loyal customers he proudly called friends over the 50 years he was in business. He was very involved in the community as well and also an army veteran seemed like a really good guy so there you have it friends this is the place that elvis would get his tvs from in palm springs california yes indeed <laughs> And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.